bring it all together. <laughs> you have to turn them on, Morty. Morty <laughs> you really Human clones, a broken leg serums, and a giant red sax? Huh? Today we are back at it, breaking down some of the futuristic medical scenes and over the top injuries from Rick and Morty. All right, let's dive right in. Just take these shoes, Morty. They're spe special grappling shoes. Why does Rick have like weird saliva, sputum, phlegm coming out of his mouth? We get this all the time where people will say, oh, my sputum is green, so that must mean I have a bacterial infection. Not necessarily, it could. It just has to do with breakdown of cells. Sometimes you can have a viral illness that produces green sputum. It just has to do also with the other symptoms that you have in your clinical picture. When you're wearing these things, babe, these babies, you can basically just walk on any surface you want, Morty, up, down, below, Sweet. turn around to the left. These things really bring it all together. <laughs> you have to turn them on, Morty. Morty, you really. You have, you have to, to turn, turn them on, on first, though, oh, man. You can see the number on your legs right now. Oh, hey, that's yeah, not yeah. good. If you fall from anywhere greater than three times your height, it's a major trauma. Typically in the United States, you're gonna to go to a trauma center, you'll get evaluated, you'll get a primary and secondary survey by the trauma team to make sure you're okay. You will check A, B, C, D, E, and then go on to looking at the rest of the body. You know, you gotta turn the shoes on, Marty, for them to work. I'm in a lot of pain, Rick. Oh. Nice! Weird sci-fi kind of injection with a vial on top. We don't have that stuff. We do have syringe vials where you actually can just screw them right into a device and push the medicine right in. Oh. Oh. What med did he just give him? My broken legs instantly. I mean, I've never felt so good awesome. in my life. Awesome. I wish we had that. Literally, the injections we would give in this situation would be pain medications. We are getting into different types of injections that we can give into joints and into the body to help heal it faster. Uh-oh, is it going to grow? Don't worry about it, Morty. Just turn your shoes on, Morty. Right, buddy? Sure thing, Rick. Not that you asked, Morty, but what just happened there is I went into a future dimension with such advanced medicine that they had broken leg serum at every corner drugstore. The stuff was all over the place, Morty. Wow, that's pretty crazy, Rick. Isn't the future great? We got better science, better medicine. Obviously, it takes time to do these things. You need to do safety protocols, and then you do experiments over time, and then even later, you need longer time periods that make sure medications work. Maybe you need a break. Don't you ever miss Earth? I don't have to miss it. I'm technically still there. My dad made a perfect clone of me to take my place. Boy, that Rick. So if you do go back, what happens to the clone? We have some robotics going on. I literally watched a video recently of a robot doing regular functions, helping somebody out, moving like a human being. So we're getting close. Does that freak you out, robots of the future, or does it actually intrigue you? Like. Let me know in the comments. Does it have like a proximity triggered device in its neck? Are you actually able to see your clone, be around your clone? Is there like issues if you're in the same space? All interesting questions. I actually have something for that. You, you want some? They're non-addictive. That's not true. They're totally addictive. I'm a terrible doctor. I actually have something for that too. You want some? Non-addictive. Some medications that we prescribe, especially relating to your brain, has the potential to cause different things. It can cause addiction, dependence, it can cause withdrawal syndromes, all these things because it's kind of messing with our chemistry a little bit and hitting our receptors in certain ways. Here, come here, let, let, let grandpa fix you up. What do you want, a robot hand, a lizard hand? I can make it big again like that one time. Just my regular hand? Right, not a time for bits, I get it. So cool. There you go, good as new. So we're like, Back, back, right? Rick and Morty, together again, full, full wow, reset. Wow, so cool. When you have a really bad burn and you need a skin graft, and you need new tissue put on, you can do an autograph, basically auto meeting, take a piece of your own skin and put it on the area. But they actually use fish skin to then re-put on a human being and it actually works. Can we regrow bones back? No, not yet, unfortunately. What? <laughs> Oh my gosh, it just reminds me of The Matrix where like Keanu Reeves is in his pod and he's got to take out the tube out of his mouth. Where are we? What is this? That's it, get out. You can make a perfectly realized toilet-filled simulation of heaven, but you can't share a toilet. Don't insult my craft. The chemical is Globofin. It connects the whatever you want section of your brain to the whatever you have section. If your heaven is toilets, that's on you. <laughs> 
These pods are definitely like made in your preference, like what you want. And it's actually interesting and like it's your algorithm. YouTube's kind of made that way. I don't give you the ads, Eve. YouTube gives you the ads based on your preferences, not mine. You just get to watch the video. Rick, did you take the Tapatio? Tapatio. Hmm. Oh, geez. Globofin. Globofin. Anybody out there, what's Globofin? Let me know. So many people that come to the emergency department just randomly take other people's medications. Well, no, you don't know if you have an allergic reaction to it or not. You may have an adverse reaction to it. Just make sure that you take medications that's prescribed to you. Holy cow, his eyes dilated. And typically you see this in cocaine or if actually somebody overdoses too much on Benadryl or diphenhydramine. Just be sure to use it with the rocket shoes or it'll rip your head off. I want my dragon, I want my dragon, I want my dragon. <laughs> We do have medications that are gases to keep you down. And anesthesiologists use them mostly. <laughs> Oh crap. <laughs> oh no, crap. now he's gonna go to sleep. He got a gas leak. You just need to get fresh air in there so you can actually get the gases out. Dad, are you okay? Your ship crashed in Malta. Ugh, I'm okay. I mean, who wouldn't want to be in Malta? But he's got multiple injuries. He's got a cast that appears in bandages on the left leg that is elevated to help decrease swelling. Now listen, this is called oxytocin. I extracted it from a vole. You know what a vole is, Morty? You know what a vole is? It's a, it's a rodent that mates for life, Morty. This is a chemical released in the mammal's brain that, you know, that makes it fall in love. Oxytocin, yes, the love hormone. To say the labor is not progressing as well as it should, they'll actually give oxytocin to help push the body along. So there are other purposes for it. Very interesting. All right, Morty, I just gotta combine it with some of your DNA. Oh, well, okay. A hair, Morty. I need one of your hairs. This isn't Game of Thrones. <laughs> We don't use hair in the emergency department. You can use it for drug testing because it goes back further. All right, Morty. Whoever you smear this stuff on will fall in love with you. And only you, forever. Are you happy now, Morty? Heck yeah. Thank you, Grandpa Rick. Hey, there's no dangers or anything or side effects, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What am I, a hack? Go nuts, Morty. It's foolproof. Sure it is. But at least his grandfather's like trying to help him out, you know, get the girl he loves. Hey there, Jessica. Whoa, oh, whoopsie. Oh. <laughs> Oh. oh my god, Morty, you look really nice tonight. Again, we got some dilation of those eyeballs. We actually measure pupils in millimeters. So if anybody's like five millimeters, six millimeters, that's quite dilated. Wow, thanks. I love you, Morty. I love you so much it burns. It should never burn. If it burns, please come to the hospital, urgent care, or your regular doctor and get tested. Oh man, I, I love you too, Jessica. <laughs> Is this punk bothering you, Jessica? Leave him alone, jerk! I'm in love with him! Whoa. He's more man than you will ever be! That's you! Oh! So cool, you see the, the the appropriate red blood cells, and then you have a good depiction of like a pathogen. And that's a depiction of the nervous system. Oh man, Morty. I'm really sorry. Oh, well. <laughs> I hope people just don't sneeze and cough everywhere because then everybody's gonna start loving Morty. Is there something like that that we have? Our pheromones like give off scent basically to somebody that you're trying to attract. Of course, Rick and Morty. I can't believe there's even more medical scenes and scientific things that we could discuss. I loved it, super cool. Did you guys enjoy this? Let me know in the comments. You want me to keep doing some more Rick and Morty? Let me know. And as always, please make sure that you check out this whole playlist right here binge watch everything and make sure that you subscribe turn your bell notifications on and hit that like button for me thank you so much for watching and stay healthy my friends